Okay, guys. I got another one. Another really funny one. The proteins in sperm have a tightening effect on the skin. When sperm is left to dry, the evaporation of the water in it leaves behind protein which can help to reduce wrinkles. While this may be an excellent anti-aging treatment, the obvious downside is that you have to walk around with sperm on your face. That's really funny. I'm sorry, maybe you guys don't find it as funny, but to me that was one of the funnier things that I've heard all day. Anyways guys, what is going on? My name is Taylor or Caps and Obvious, and I have a really interesting Black Ops gameplay slash topic here for you guys. I go 87 and 9, so it's pretty decent. I'm really working on that 100 kill game, but I have not seemed to have been able to get it yet. Anyways, so the topic of today is kind of going to be a little bit different, a bit more serious of a topic, even though it might be a little funny for some of you. Uh, it's actually about the time, a couple weeks ago, that my friend got expelled from school. And if you don't know what expulsion is, it's when you're actually gone from the school, you're not allowed to go there anymore. And a good good friend of mine actually just recently got expelled from school. And, um, you know, sus sus if someone gets suspended, lots of people get suspended, and that's when you're gone for a couple days, and then you return with, like, you're on probation or something, you can't do certain things. But he actually got expelled. And at my school, it's pretty hard to actually get expelled um, completely. And the main reason you can actually get expelled is by dealing drugs. Doing drugs in and of itself will only get a suspension. But dealing drugs will get you that an extra step to reach the expulsion level. But, uh, so I'm basically going to be telling you guys the story about how this came to be and what exactly happened. About a year ago, my friend and I were really good friends, we were really close, and we used to like hang out all the time, tell each other everything, and uh, it was really, it was a really fun time. And then, starting this year, we started to drift apart, we didn't talk as much, you know, I gained different friends, he gained different friends, and we didn't really talk as much as we used to. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, you know, obviously the main downside of that is that we grew farther apart and he started getting into things that I had never known that he was into before we started drifting apart. I started to notice that he was more into drugs, more the kind of person who was, he was more different, he was more talking about, oh, how can I get laid this weekend, how can I get, you know, high this weekend, how can I get those drugs? And uh, he, he started getting more into that kind of things, which I, myself, like I said in multiple commentaries, I'm never going to do. I'm never going to get into drugs, never going to get into alcohol. And um, so as of right now, I, you know, maybe later on in life I'll break down and go into the alcohol stage. That was my shorts falling off my chair. Maybe I'll break into the alcohol stage and, um, you know, lose control later on in life. But for right now, I'm more of a sober guy. I've never done alcohol, don't plan to. Never done drugs, don't plan to. But anyways, that's not part of the topic. Um, so basically, this year, like I said, he's been getting a lot more into drugs and alcohol. And he used to get it for himself and another friend of his, and actually branched out into multiple people throughout the entire school. Lots of people that I never expected to be doing drugs ended up actually doing drugs. And, um, you know, they would always get their drugs through this person. And so my friend, you know, or former friend, I mean, he's still my friend now, I'm not going to lie. I'm still friends with him. And so he would always get these drugs from different people, like in, in like different bigger cities and stuff. And he'd always end up popping out with new drugs that he could sell to the people at my school. And so, you know, for a while it was going good. He was making a lot of money. Let me tell you, he was making hundreds of dollars off this drug selling. And, um, you know, he, he sold it to different people. Lots of people got hooked and, you know, life was going good for him. And eventually he got to the point where he was doing drugs a lot and he was always trying to find some way that he could do drugs and eventually got to the point where he was actually smoking the Mary Juana at school. He would find a place back at the back side of the school where he could smoke without the uh, dean of students or any of the administrators finding him and he'd go smoke with a couple of his buddies and then just be high for like the lunch period and then come back to school and he'd be fine because he was the type of person who the drugs went out of his system really fast. And, you know, this went well, good, well for a while. He did this a couple times, and eventually um, he moved on to bigger things, whereas dealing drugs for parties, where my other friends would get together in parties, and he would provide the drugs slash the entertainment, because one of my other friends who worked with him was a DJ. So they were kind of the perfect combo, where my one friend would get the drugs, my other friend would DJ, and they'd make a lot of money over one weekend. They'd do the, all these parties, they'd set up, take down, everything would be set up for them for a couple hundred bucks. The guys could get it all done. If they split the cost of the bill, it'd be really simple for them to get a really nice, um, professionally done party uh, with drugs. We never actually ended up finding out what happened, but apparently the story goes that one of the people at this 
one of these parties actually snitched or if you don't know what that is told the dean of students about uh, my friend and his drug selling at the party and the dean of students of course since i go to a catholic school this is unacceptable you cannot deal drugs so the dean of students was bringing in all these people gathering information and apparently a couple people um, gave up information about my friend and his drug dealing and so after that happened the dean called him in and he was like look you know i i know you sell drugs i know you've done all this um, just accept it and it won't be as bad and so my my friend was, my friend doesn't care he doesn't even really want to go to the school he thinks it's kind of um, stopping him from real, realizing his full potential and so he was like yeah man I, I did it you know it's whatever and so the dean of students was like alright well we can't have that in our school so we're gonna kick you out and uh, my other friend who was the DJ didn't get into any trouble really he kind of just you know, he, he got a suspension for a couple days, and now he's on probation. He can't do anything for the rest of the year. But um, my one friend actually did get expelled, and now he's going to a different high school across town. Um, I still talk to him every now and then. He's still a really cool guy. But, uh, you know, it's it's really different not having him at my school anymore. It feels different. It's not as... It's not the same, I'm not going to lie. So if you guys have anybody who does drugs, you know, if you're into that kind of thing, savor it while, you're la while it lasts. Because eventually, you know, someone, if it gets big enough... Um, obviously, if you're the smart type who just does the drugs in the back, never really tells anyone, you won't get caught, um, hopefully. But, you know, if you're the one who is forward with it, like my friend who dealt them, then you might eventually get caught. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this commentary, and if you did, please feel free to check out my channel and subscribe if you want. But uh, as always, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave it the like or dislike rating you think it deserves, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.